A kicker, Chris Boswell, has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Right back to Swift again on second down. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon on first and ten it's swift and the result here a pickup of eight leaves him with two to go on second down well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short what do you think early shot here i like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me i want to take that shot early and loosen things up more muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off a of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. On first down, it's Fields. It's brought in by Harris. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's a second and five now from the 25. A shotgun snap, Fields. And his throw here's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Throw left side, hold in by Pickens. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. Fields on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 28. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Fields throw pulled in by Jefferson. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 yards there for number 15. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now a first down carry for Harris. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw his fields. Setting up the screen, Harris. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Boswell's kick is good, and the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. 
See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Joey Porter Jr. that time got in there and backs the offense up. Tackle for loss. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Right back to Swift again on second down. And no luck at all to start this drive as they're going to drop him behind the line for a second straight play. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Back to throw. Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Here's Corliss Waitman now. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Fields on first down. Pickens on the slam. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gain, they can run that play on any down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down, this is Harris. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. 
And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Harris running straight ahead. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Here's Fields. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, a nine-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. They went five wide in that offensive set, and racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point put through by Boswell, and the lead grows to 10 0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off by a Najee Harris touchdown. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone and now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field they've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, here's Swift. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. From the gun on third down, Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Now Williams on first down. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. First down now, but that clock rolling. 
Looking to throw. Williams. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. Now, that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Powering forward. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Williams throwing on first down. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. They'll look to throw again. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Heavy set out there on third and one. Again, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Santos' kick is up and through, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Steeler offense now with the football first here to begin the third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? 
think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. With well, momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Fields. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. Oh, and that is incomplete. Second and 10. Fields now to throw. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. First target, first catch, and a first down. Players somehow came back to football, and that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Fields. He gets it complete to Harris. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. The if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins, so throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Gets this out wide to Pickens. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Fields. That is caught. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Now Fields. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown! Pat Fryermuth. 
from 13 yards out. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead is now 17 3. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They go play action here on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. That complete hits Tyler Scott with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They run out of the gun with Swift. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Moore, the motion man right. Now they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 44 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Dances by at the 20. Oh, what a move. And they move this all the way down to the 9. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Gerald Everett, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have cut it back within a score. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that slices the lead down to 
Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Now a first down throw, Fields. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and three. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. A short one there to fire me. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And the Steelers on third down. They've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This will be third and six. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. T.J. Edwards in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. On oh, the return is Jones. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 74 yards on the ground here for Swift, and he's got a first down as well. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. Williams and he will find the open man it's DJ Moore 
So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions step up and make those throws, and he did that. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The end result, 21 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. On the option to give to Swift here. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Williams now looking to throw on second down. He finds his target, Allen. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. A looming decision to make on the conversion down 7, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now he's forced out right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Swift. He is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. Swift again, pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on the play of the game now. Fourth and goal. Here we go. The noise deafening. Fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Tyler Scott from a yard out. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth.
Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. This is first and ten. Back to throw. Fields setting up the screen. Harris. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Now Fields. Finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here now, third down. All eyes on fields. Finding space at the 30. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Here's Fields. It's brought in by Harris. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Here's first and ten. Here's Fields. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here's second down. Now it's Fields. And that is incomplete. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here's first down. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout.
So it's the Steelers who will have the first chance to go down and score here in overtime as we are back underway. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Fields on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Fields. A short one there to Fryermuth, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. What will they draw up to try to keep this opening drive of overtime moving? Third and seven. To throw his fields. That one too wide and incomplete. The temptation to go for it probably there always is, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. Yeah, I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially play a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. Jones on the return. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. The Chicago offense set to get started. Now their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old-school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down at a yard. Now he'll try to run with this. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Here comes third and the length of the football. They'll try and run here with Swift. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 117 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. 
they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Yeah, he's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play, second down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Off the bootleg, Williams. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Looking to throw, Williams. And this is caught. He hits more. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a big gainer on that play, and from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Brandon, I'd go ahead and kick it right now. I know it's only second down, but I kick it and give myself a little margin for error here. Don't wait for third. Have the extra down just in case. If something goes wrong, miss, messed up snap, anything like that, you fall on it, guess what? It's third down. You still have the ball. You still have a chance to kick it. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. And that carry, probably not so much for yardage, just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage you gain there is really kind of gravy. And this just becomes what my old coach used to say, get into position to be in position. <laughs> and that's what they want, the right spot for their kicker to line up the field goal. And they'll run again. And he's not going too far. In fact, stopped dead in his tracks at the three. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. This Drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And they've come in here and stolen one on the road. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Pittsburgh.